Hey and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to take a look at MVVM and try to understand what it is before we actually apply it into our actual project. Now in our current project structure we actually have a folder structure where we have a folder called view, view model and model. Well there actually is a reason for this and we're actually structuring our app using the MVVM architecture. Now what does MVVM actually stand for? Well it stands for model, view, view model. And it's actually a software engineering pattern that is commonly used in SwiftUI to help us actually architect our apps. And if you follow a lot of my videos, you'll realize I actually use this pattern a lot. And the reason why is because it helps us to easily separate out our logic and reuse our code if we want to a lot easier. So what does each part actually mean? So the first part is the model. So the model is actually the data layer and this actually houses any data and this is normally the model that represents the data that your application is working with. In our case, this is the data that we get back from the API. The model should be done. It shouldn't actually know any kind of logic. It should just simply hold data and represent it. That is it. Now the next step that you have is the view. Now this is the UI layer and this is where the user sees the data that you handle in your app through the model and it's normally handled through here on the view. So similar to the model, the view shouldn't actually know any kind of business logic and it should just be pretty simple and only needs to know what it needs to display on the screen. And then finally, you have view model. This is the business logic layer. This is the link between the view and the model and is where the magic happens. This is where all the business logic should happen here in the view model and this is where actions are performed where data is fetched and manipulated and where it is then passed on to the view. So most of your unit testing efforts will be performed on the view model and since this is where the business logic lies within your application. So to actually see the benefits of this, let's actually just go back into our project. What problem does MVVM actually solve? Well, the main benefit it helps us solve is separating out our concerns. So right now, if you actually look at our people view, for example, you'll just notice that everything is just coupled into this one file in place. We can't actually reuse any of the logic that we have here for getting like the users anywhere within our code. And we also can't unit test this because it's directly tied to our view. So now what we're going to actually do is look at how we can actually separate out our business logic, such as fetching our users and displaying it on the screen and move that easily into a view model so that we can actually reuse and unit test it later in this course. So that was just a breakdown of what MVVM is and how we're going to be applying it to our project. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Also as well, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel and hit notification bell to get updates for whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you on a bit. Deuces.